Years ago, in Loma Linda, California, where suburban tranquility meets the arid desert, an epic struggle unfolded daily in the battle against venomous snake bites. Here, at the Venom ER, Dr. Sean Bush led a dedicated team of doctors in a relentless fight against a deadly, little understood substance, venom. This toxin, with its insidious ability to seek out and exploit human weaknesses, posed a constant threat, and the Venom ER was the front line in this battle. The San Bernardino National Forest loomed over Loma Linda, its hills scarred by dead trees, fuel for the devastating wildfires that had become a summer menace, ravaging both human settlements and snake habitats. State laws mandated residents to clear brush from their properties to mitigate fire risks, but this precaution brought its own dangers, as the wooded hillsides were prime rattlesnake territory. Jeremy Zine found this out the hard way. While clearing brush on his uncle's land, he was bitten by a rattlesnake, rushed to a local hospital, his condition deteriorated, and three hours later, he was transferred to Loma Linda. Time was tissue. Every second that passed meant more damage to his body. By the time Jeremy arrived at the Venom ER, five hours had elapsed since the bite, and his arm was in a dire state. The Venom ER team sprang into action. Jeremy had already received four vials of Crofab antivenom, but it was not enough. The neurotoxins in the venom were causing tingling sensations and uncontrollable twitching, while his arm swelled painfully. Jeremy was a fit young man, but the pain was excruciating. The bite, sustained near Clara Mount, had occurred in rattlesnake country, where these reptiles blended seamlessly into their surroundings. Working alone at the time, Jeremy had managed to call for a help, and a neighbor summoned an ambulance, which arrived within 20 minutes. By then, the venom was causing intense pain and numbness. Despite initial antivenom treatments at the first hospital, Jeremy needed more specialized care at Loma Linda. Sean Bush assessed the situation. The venom was still winning the battle inside Jeremy's body, causing widespread tissue damage and neurotoxic effects. A crucial piece of information was missing, the exact type of snake that had bitten Jeremy. Sean, an expert in snake identification, knew that the symptoms suggested the Southern Pacific rattlesnake, a species known for its neurotoxic venom, now recognized as a significant threat in the area. This knowledge guided the treatment strategy, even as the team prepared a second course of antivenom, bringing Jeremy's total to 10 vials. As night fell, another drama unfolded at the veterinary hospital, where veterinarian Debbie Veach treated Max, a family pet bitten by a rattlesnake. Max belonged to Professor Bill Hayes, a leading expert on rattlesnake biology. Earlier that afternoon, the Hayes family had been walking in the hills when Max encountered a rattlesnake. For Max, it was an intriguing creature. For the snake, Max was a threat. Like the Venom ER, the veterinary hospital carried rattlesnake antivenom. The first step was an allergy test on Max's skin to ensure it was safe to administer the full dose. After confirming no allergic reaction, the treatment proceeded, and Max remained under observation overnight. Back at the Venom ER, Jeremy's condition remained serious. His arm was still swollen, and there was a risk of compartment syndrome, which might have necessitated surgery. Dr. Bush aimed to avoid this outcome. Jeremy's family had arrived, bringing essentials and emotional support. The antivenom infusion continued, Battling the venom in his system, it was going to be a long night. By the next morning, with Brandy Parsavo on duty, Jeremy received another two vials, bringing his total to 16 far more than most patients required. It had been one of the most challenging cases of the season. Despite the difficulties, Jeremy's condition had stabilized, bringing relief to his worried family. A week later, Max had also made a full recovery. Professor Bill Hayes's interest shifted to the snake that had bitten Max, integrating it into his studies. The groundbreaking work by Bill and Sean was revealing that Southern Pacific rattlesnakes possess neurotoxic venom, challenging the long-held belief that only Mojave rattlesnakes had such potent effects. These events, years ago, underscored the constant vigilance and adaptability required in the battle against venomous snake bites, highlighting the importance of expertise, teamwork, 
and the relentless pursuit of medical and scientific understanding. The story of Jeremy Zine's snake bite treatment at Loma Linda's Venom E are in part several crucial and unique lessons. First and foremost, the significance of expertise and experience in handling venomous bites is evident. Dr. Sean Bush's deep knowledge and ability to identify the snake species involved guided the effective treatment plan. This underscores the necessity for seasoned professionals in critical medical situations. Additionally, the story highlights the intense learning curve for medical personnel, illustrated by the rapid adaptation and decision-making required in high-pressure scenarios. Comprehensive monitoring of a patient's condition beyond the immediate effects of the bite is vital as symptoms can evolve and affect various parts of the body. The narrative also emphasizes the importance of effective team communication and support. The coordination between Dr. Bush and his team, as well as the seamless integration of emergency medical services, was crucial for Jeremy's treatment. Adaptability is another key lesson. The variability in venomous bite reactions demands that medical professionals be prepared for a range of symptoms and complications. Attention to detail is highlighted by the meticulous steps taken, such as allergy testing for antivenom in Max's case, to prevent adverse reactions. Moreover, the story demonstrates the ongoing nature of education in the medical field. Dr. Bush and his colleagues continuously updated their knowledge about the neurotoxic effects of local rattlesnake species, challenging existing medical assumptions. Emotional support for both the patient and their family is shown to be an essential component of treatment, providing comfort and clear communication during distressing times. Lastly, the narrative underscores the readiness and dedication of medical professionals as exemplified by Dr. Bush's immediate response. This comprehensive approach to venom treatment, blending medical expertise, continuous learning, and compassionate care, is crucial in managing such unpredictable and potentially lethal encounters. The lessons learned from these experiences not only save lives, but also advance our understanding and treatment of venomous encounters. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and always prioritize safety in snake-prone areas. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.